Hi guys, welcome to my video of my face up for Ashlyn. Uh, the main goal with this was just to give you a bit of an idea of how I do my blending using my pretty much only my two brushes, my big fluffy and my smaller brush. As you might be able to hear, I have actually found some music and because I really like this one, I don't think I'm going to do too much narration, or at the very least I'm going to try and keep it really chill and really calm as befitting this kind of music. So the big way that I do a lot of my face ups is really reliant on two brushes. My big fluffy, as you can see now, which I will use to dab powder, pastel powder on and then clear off and just blend <laughs> until I'm happy. And my little brush that you can see now, which I do the exact same thing with but in smaller amounts and slightly better detail. Um, I do use my other brushes as well but these two are really my main brushes. I use Rembrandt pastels, uh, shaved with a ceramic knife into a little paint palette that I then just pick up and apply straight to the doll and blow off any excess and I think sometimes by shaking the head around it's probably a really bad habit but I've never dropped one so... <laughs> face-ups very peaceful to do when they work there's something magical about just applying this little bit of dust and blending and suddenly a face appears and I'm particularly happy with how Ashling's turned out since it's a little bit different from what I've been doing lately I've been on a real no eyeliner kick lately. Don't know where that came from, but I feel like it's been working out reasonably well. The thing with Ashling was choosing her colours was both interesting and fun because her head was quite modelled from dying unevenly. And I decided I would just go with it and make it look intentional by doing a lot of blushing with blues and pinks and purples. Now hopefully this video is a little bit better than my last one. Uh, at the very least the lighting's better but I'm still working on getting that angle right. It's a bit hard working at an angle that doesn't get in my way but also my hands don't get in the way. I'm sure I'll get there eventually. Let me tell you if I had a head mount for a GoPro that'd make life a lot easier. But then I'd also need a GoPro so <laughs> maybe not. Um, really um, the lifesaver of most of my face ups is needable erasers. I'll often apply a little bit and see if I think that looks right and then I'll decide oh no that colour was atrocious let's move to something else instead <laughs> and I'll take it off with the needable eraser and sometimes stuff gets in the sealant and you've got to pick it out with a toothpick. Side note I promise when I'm doing other people's face-ups I wear gloves but for my guys I don't see the point because they're gonna get my hand oils all over them anyway but I do wear gloves if I'm handling other people's dolls for face-ups and stuff there's just a lot of repetitive brush movements brushing in the direction that you want the pastels to go and the color to go and sometimes with the odd just circular <laughs> circular brush to sort of blend everything in a little bit. The 
my sculpts are all very pretty and I'm definitely looking at maybe more of them in the future um, but I mean <laughs> that's the future and that's all very up in the air right now for me just gonna be graduating soon so off to face the real world which is gonna be interesting but I'm excited you know can't spend the rest of my life in university I mean academia is definitely not where I want to spend my life not that there's anything wrong with academia but Sometimes I'll try something out, like here, and then decide, not a good idea, and just off it comes with that needable eraser. I decided to do a bit of gold on the bottom of her lids, just because that's what her default had and it looked really cute. So thank you everyone so much for watching, hopefully this was a bit better than the last one, and I'll see you guys later, bye!